Today I want to show you how to craft such an amazing bushcraft carabiner. <laughs> From nothing else than such a twig. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. Recently I saw a video about these bushcraft carabiners. I guess this is an old traditional Norwegian technique. I was immediately amazed about the project and the technique this guy used. Unfortunately this guy spoke Norwegian so no, no chance to understand just a single word. I guess they call them witch spinning or something like this. Later I found a video in German where someone explained how this technique works. The link for these two videos you find in the description box below. Apparently the old Norwegians used this kind of carabiners for lock fence gates and for hang up all kind of gear. And they are super stable. <laughs> but of course you shouldn't need it for climbing. All you need for this project this is a Swiss Army knife and a straight grown little twig with a length about 1 meter 50. Of course, you can make this project with different uh, diameters and different lengths, but uh, if you start, I recommend take a, a twig which is not thicker than 1 centimeter at the thick end. You can use different types of wood for this project. I already tried out hazel fir, birch and willow. And with these four woods I was successful, but I'm sure there are a lot of other trees which works also. Just try it out. The first thing you have to do is to twist the branch on the whole length. This makes that the fibers crack up lengthways. And this makes the twig flexible like a rope. How these techniques exactly works, I showed you in my last video. The link for this video you'll find here and in the description box below. If this is done, cut away the twig and take a seat. The last 10 cm on the thick end of the twig should remain stiff. This is like the thorn of a belt buckle. Now twisting the thick end until he starts to form a loop and make a simple overhand knot from this loop. Now go back from the overhand knot about one third of the remaining stick length so that you have one third at the thick end and two thirds at the thin end. At this point start to twist the twig again until you get the loop. So you need a second loop. Now you have to twist together the two twig parts with the same technique as you use for making rope from natural fibers. For that take always the twig in the front, twist it clockwise and place it counterclockwise over the other one. If you are back at the overhand knot, go with the thin end through the loop from the overhand knot and pull on the thin end to tight the turn a little bit. Now twist in the thin end of the twig and put it back around the already existing spiral. Now I go with the thin end two or three times through the twisted branches. These splice secure the carabiner so that the twigs cannot detach.
Now your carabine is ready. For close it, you have to pull the loop over the door, like this. And now it's closed. <coughs> I'm sure this carabine holds easy 50 or 60 kilograms. So my friends, that's it for today. This carabine is my favorite project you can do with such a trick rope I showed you last week. You can use the carabine for locking things and for hang on your gear and there are a thousand possibilities. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!